decades ago, Zhoufen was a magnificent city, abounds in gold ores and bathing glory. Zhoufen's development history is wrought with stories of the gold mining anecdotes, resulting gold rush, peace in the village's development, and to a new town. Yet its luster began to fade with the decline of gold mining activities. During its peak, gold miners were liberal with their easily gained money, and the town was a symbol of luxury and extravagance, replicating the bustle and boom of Shanghai. Hence the name, the Mini Shanghai. Yet, with the depletion of gold in the mid 1960s, the population started to drop, and the gold mining business also faded into history. 在一九七一年，九份的这个黄金开采正式结束的时候，那在停止开采以后，九份从五万的人口啊，大量的外移啊外出，那这个时间点刚好九份这个这么多的房子空屋啊腾空出来，那刚好也房价啊最低迷、最便宜的时候。As a result, many wandering artists looking for creative ideas came to Jiufen to explore new artistic possibilities. They frequented the retro Chinese-style tea houses to enjoy a cup of warm tea and to reflect upon the golden old days. And Jiufen, a long-forgotten mountain town, began to move forward in the river of time. 九份茶坊的这个这个对外开放是一九九一年，啊，也是形成九份第二春的一个正式开始的一个一个序幕，啊，所以从九份的这个黄金年代第一春，到它的没落中间差不多有二十年的时间没落，啊，从五万人到三千人的这个落差，那在九份茶坊一九九一年开幕以后，陆陆续续的这些店家从啊、uh, ，很繁荣的地方，很繁荣的那个景象，变成了没落，人气落空，又重新复活过来。应该是从一九九一年正式啊，九、uh, 份的所谓的第二春的正式开始。Yet lodging accommodations were scarce, so residents took the opportunity to open retro style bed and breakfasts and hope to blend these new elements into 九份 s cultural backdrop. 呃，因为电影的背景城市哈，在这里播出以后哈，在这里取景，那所以造成非常多的回响，那也让很多人看到这里的一些怀旧的一种感觉，所以也衍生出来有很多像说外国人啊，或者是台湾来自各个地区的一些呃国民来到这一边来来入住。那那时候其实这里九份其实没有什么地方可以住的地方，那反而是有很多阿公阿妈就说阿伯下年来来哦，你就来，来到我们家来住，就把他的一间房间就清出来给这样子的游客来居住。那延伸到现在为止，这样子的一个民宿的发展，大概在将近这六年哦，就非常的蓬勃。所以九份目前来讲，其实它的民宿所带给游客，其实还有很多是属于呃地方文化的特色，然后还有一些总体的营造，那也让九份整个这里的山跟海的景呢，也让游客留下来，那也愿意再把这里的美景也带到国外去，让其他国家的呃那个外国人来到这里来旅游，认识真正的台湾之美。